Dear Mr. President, I'm about to tell the whole country a top secret that you've been hiding away from everyone since the Gen Z Mandamano. Well, it seems that a lot happened behind the curtains and also behind the scenes when the Gen Z went to protest uh, to protest uh, the finance bill 2024. And these things happened and uh, which actually left uh, the, 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 the government and the president with an egg on the face and uh, they were left embarrassed. And Kenyans don't actually know about this. Well, a young lady has come to actually say something that she has learned, which will actually expose a little bit of the truth that she has learned. Well, we don't want to give so much about it. Sit back, relax, and tell us what you think in the comment section. Dear Mr. President, I'm about to tell the whole country a top secret that you've been hiding away from everyone since the Gen Z Mandamano. It's mind-blowing when you find yourself in certain rooms so here's exactly what happened guys and i'm not even gonna talk about the number of people that were disposed and don't come for me i know the exact number but here i am i'm not even putting it out there but the people deserve to know exactly what transpired of the access now you guys remember when the national government brought police to take care of the queen mandamano right we remember that very well because the police were brutal and they killed a lot of people. Now, the part that you guys are not aware of is that the president reached out to our army to also come in. Now, here's what most of you are not aware of. Because most of you saw the army escorting the common one and she, and my age mates, they were, they were being escorted all the way back home. If you guys remember those clips, what you're not aware of is what exactly transpired. And this is what everyone needs to know. Now, the president approaches the army, tells them if they can come help in the current situation that is happening. The army, our Kenyan army, has, ri has risen in ranks over the years. They have they are due number 50 war to NATO. They, due, they, they have accolades they've picked over the years and ranks. And these global ranks you're given when you literally service and protect the people. That is the number one thing, the key role of the army. Now, when the president asked them to come in, the army said, well and good, they're going to come in. But you have to put your instructions down in writing. Now, here's where they cornered your president. Because if you're going to put the instructions in writing, this is the army telling you, whatever you put down in writing, you are held accountable to it remember this is something that is gonna be faxed it's not even emailed that is not how the army works it's faxed so the minute he puts it in writing the entire world has access to his instructions and your president being as smart as usually realized this was me being cornered so what did he do because this was embarrassing so he wrote to the army and told them and you guys go greet them just go greet them scare them a bit and then come back and that is exactly what Kenyans saw. The army were released from the camp and the army came, they were even making fun with Gen Z's on the street and then they saw off these kids safely home. Now this is the reality Kenyans are not aware of. The president approached the army and the army put him where he belongs. So in short, the commander in chief of the Republic of Kenya could not command in that situation and if the country knew this then gen z would have literally gone nuts in terms of uh, their balls that is the commander-in-chief became the biggest comedian to all the former generals to all the armies across the continent and around the world. It is still a laughing stock to date because where commanders in chief give instructions to literally go and protect the country. Where other commanders in chief give instructions in times of necessity, you know, in times of war, in times of fighting for the nation, your commander in chief gave instructions for them to come and greet people. I don't think you guys realize how in the army this was such a joke. It's the joke of the century. And if you think I'm lying, give a call to any major general around the country. 
whether current or former or any person with senior ranking in the army and get to know their sentiments around what has occurred in this country this year what what am i saying it's like the banks the modern banks today that cannot bank cannot back up their money with gold it's it's the same thing we have right now in our presidency we have a presidency that cannot be backed up with command it's it's crazy it's crazy once you guys to know that you shook the country to the core i need you guys to know that you actually made an impact and you even shook your president to the core he got to a point where he had zero command his hands were tied and that is how powerful the common one inch is can you please spread this awareness and can Kenyans start feeling safe i promise you as a country you are actually backed up with an army that cares about you oh th this is this this is this is incredible when you hear it from the people we have no command Yeah, let me know what you think. Kenyans are waking up. They are waking up.